Sharing your instruction manuals in 3D online allows your content to be truly interactive and opens up a range of animation options to enhance the viewer's understanding of your product and the overall user experience. In Cadasio, you can control the animation of 3D and 2D objects, as well as being able to control animation transitions between steps and even the camera. On 2D and 3D objects, there are four types of animation, on show, on hide, on move, and attention. Let's take a look at what each one of these does. On show controls how an object is animated when it becomes visible in our current step whereas on hide controls how an object is animated if it becomes hidden within our current step. On move determines how an object transitions from point A to B between any two steps. And the tension animations help to highlight an object and are useful to indicate interaction. The most commonly animated properties are visibility and position. When animating position, the default behavior is called tween. This means that as the position of an object changes across a step, the object moves from point A to point B through the quickest possible route. To edit an object's animation, click on the object and select Animations from the General tab. Under the Move drop-down, you'll see a number of options for how an object animates when it is being moved. You'll see that they are initially set to default, which means that we use the settings defined in the step, which we'll look at shortly. I'm going to set the housing of this motor to fade out in and update the step to save the changes. If I now toggle between the steps, you'll see that it fades out at its current position and then back in to its new position when moving from the first to the second step. Notice if I go backwards, the animation will still tween. That's because I only set the move animation for the second step and not the first. This is actually pretty powerful as it allows you to combine different animation behavior on different steps. As well as being able to control the on-move animation of an object, visibility can also be animated. By default, Cadasio will automatically fade items when hiding or showing them. To edit this behavior, again select an object and click Animations from the General tab. On Show and On Hide are what controls the visibility animation. It's important to understand exactly how Cadasio sets its properties, so let's take a quick look at that. Any option that I set is for the step I'm currently working on. So for example, if an object is visible in step 1 and then hidden in step 2, any changes to how the object is hidden is set using the onHide options on step 2, as that's where the hide operation is being performed. If I then want the same object to be visible again in step 3, it's the onShow option within step 3 that control how the object is shown. This is the same idea for all animation types that you set within Cadasio. Everything that you can set on a 3D object can also be set on a 2D object. And in fact, you have more animation types available for 2D items, such as swing and drop. In addition to these options, there is another option called visibility behavior. When navigating between steps, you may have noticed that the visibility of 2D items animate at a different time to other animations in your scene. This is set by default so that the camera and 3D objects are positioned first, allowing the 2D items to appear more cleanly. This default behavior is referred to as separate. You can modify this though, so that all animations take place at the same time. This is done by selecting a 2D item and setting their visibility behavior to parallel. Notice the difference in the animation as the 2D items now appear. So far, we have been setting object-specific animations. However, every step has a default animation type for the objects in the scene. Changing an individual object's animation behavior overrides what is set in the step, but sometimes it's more convenient to change the step settings so that all objects are affected. We do this within the step settings. If I go to the steps manager, click settings on a step and go to the animations tab. You'll see that we can control the default behavior for different types of objects, with tabs for 2D, 3D, and the camera. The Options tab has options to control the speed at which the step is animated and allows us to bypass all animations and instead use animation transitions. An animation transition overrides any animations we have set and instead presents each step based on an option such as Fade, Push, Scale, and Spin. You can think of them a bit like the transitions between slides in PowerPoint. 
This is a really quick way to move from one step to another without having to specify exactly how each object should be hidden, shown or moved. And it's a great solution to not only make a fantastic looking presentation, but also speed up project creation, especially when you have a large number of objects changing their position or visibility. Check out our step transition video for more examples on how they work. If we change any of these step settings and choose update, it's only going to apply to that one step. Let's say we wanted the animation transition to push left for the entire project. Well, then we'd have to apply this to every step. To quickly do this, select all from the steps manager and then bring up the settings menu using this icon here. I can then set the animation options and hit update and it'll update every step that I had selected. Taking advantage of the range of animation options in Cadasio can really elevate your instructions and make sure your interactive presentations are more engaging and more enjoyable to navigate. Remember to subscribe to Cadasio on your favorite social media platforms for more tech tips and news. Thank you.